Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hardware City channel. Some episodes ago, I mean it's already years ago, I showed you a design I made for a magnetic sensor um, I designed for measuring the fluctuations in the Earth's magnetic field. Um, <clears throat> this sensor used um, a type of rotary or of rotating um, coil that moves inside the um, electric uh, magnetic field of the Earth and thus is uh, produce an electromotive force that can be amplified and uh, utilized as a voltage, for example, to plot a graph or to show uh, some declination on, on a uh, voltage um, indicator. Um, I'm always trying to find simple solutions for um, um, problems that are occurring um, regarding how to do measurements of very tiny, very fragile environmental forces. <clears throat> and in terms of uh, measuring magnetic flux, um, the usual approach is to use uh, some kind of flux gate magnetometers or other kind of stuff that is quite complicated to make and not easily to operate. And um, regarding my quest for a simple solution to improve the um, measurability of uh, the fluctuations of Earth magnetic field, I came across a very simple solution I want you to show now. What you need for this solution is just um, this. This is a homemade compass I made years ago. I also showed you how, to, how I made this in my YouTube channel. Not in the Hardware City channel, but in my, let's say, normal YouTube channel. And by using this here. This is a light barrier, a standard light barrier you can buy in every electronic shop. Um, it contains um, a, li a light emitting diode on one side and a photodiode on the other side. And uh, as long as the light from the LED is uh, shining on the phototransistor, uh, let's say you can generate a voltage, and if something comes in between uh, the beam uh, going um, from the LED over to the phototransistor, then the voltage changes. So this is more or less a digital um, element producing an on-off voltage, saying there is nothing in between the light barrier or there is something in between in the light barrier. The interesting thing is that um, in the transitional area when the circuit is let's say going over from switch to not switch or in reverse, um, you get a very sensitive measurement of something that is starting to go in between or starting to leave from in, do, in between those um, two elements. By this way we can make up a very sensitive um, measurement of a moving magnetic needle and a compass. Okay, to show you the principle I prepared a little experiment. So this is a, the circuit with the light barrier and I just added two resistors here. One as a current limiter for the, for the diode here, limits the current to 10 milliamps. And then as a working resistor for the uh, phototransistor here and I'm tapping the voltage directly at the output of the, um, say, collector from the phototransistor. And this is the power supply here. I'm driving the circuit with 12 volts and here we can see on the multimeter the voltage on the with the collector. <coughs> okay, if now I put something in between you can see voltage is going up to 12 volt, which is absolutely uh, normal. The thing now is if I try to insert these, um, uh, this tool here just a little bit to make the voltage stabilize at let's say 6 volts around this. You can see it's almost impossible. The tiniest move of this tool in my hand, well, let's say the natural <laughs> vibration of my muscles, uh, making it literally impossible to uh, get a stable voltage. That gives you an impression that the tiniest move of something that is in between this light barrier 
will cause a tremendous amount of voltage change. And if this uh, tweezer is replaced by the needle of a compass, you have a very extremely sensitive magnetic sensor. This is the idea behind it. So now let's repeat the experiment under slightly altered conditions. You see this is the, uh, let's say, the base of my um, compass and I glued the light barrier directly here uh, to the scale so that it uh, can, let's say, encompass the needle and its movement. And this is a needle here. <coughs> this is just a steel wire and have two magnets here to improve the sensibility for um, the magnetic field and also to balance out the, um, the needle because by uh, changing the place of those magnets you can mechanically balance out the, the different weights here on both sides and this here is a small piece of tin copper it's just a small uh, sheet that goes here in between the light barrier to uh, more or less um, interrupt the beam of light. So now I'm going to put this here on the pivot and we have to and this is not bad I think this is better. Yeah, now it's nicely directly in the middle between the phototransistor and the LED. N now, of course, we have to uh, wait until the movement of the needle slows down, and then we have to carefully adjust the position of the compass that um, the beam is just about to be um, interrupted by this piece of tin. Okay, so now everything is prepared. I also have um, put the lid again on the top of the compass because the slightest uh, um, fluctuations uh, in, the, in, the, in the movement of the air also are deflecting the needle very much so that we have a tremendous um, voltage jumps here. As you can see now, even the, the needle is settled, we have a lot of voltage fluctuations here and this also uh, already can be those slight fluctuations in earth magnetic field. And now I have a, a very small, um, no, even not neodym, but ferret magnet. And in one meter distance, and I move it a little bit, Yeah, you can see it's it's jumping between six volts and about three volts. And I'm turning this new uh, this, this uh, ferret magnet in my hand slowly. And depending on the direction of the magnetic field, you can see we clearly have deflections. It's this one here. I uh, see. <laughs> oh wow! I see. We have tremendous jumps here. <coughs> okay. Um, now the needle is upset again. <laughs> really, really great sensitivity. So, if we want to utilize this principle, you have to find a quiet place with uh, no mechanical vibrations, and you have to spend a lot of time until the needle settles down, and then you can start measuring those fluctuations here. I again will turn the magnet now in my hand. Nice. Wow. <laughs> you see we have voltage changes of two two or three magnitudes. Incredible. Really incredible. So I think you got the idea. So it's very simple by using of a standard compass, a homemade or even an, an, a, a compass you bought somewhere, and a light barrier to 
uh, employ this principle of the deflecting magnetic needle in order to measure very tiny fluctuations of the surrounding magnetic fields. And uh, this is just a work in progress and of course we can, well, I can make a an, an standalone device from this. Uh, for example, it would be possible to use an Arduino to uh, get this measurement data and to um, transmit it to, let's say, a computer via USB interface or, um, or Wi-Fi maybe, or uh, put the data on an on a SD card uh, for further um, plotting and analyzing of the data. That's all possible. The very important is that you have to find a quiet place um, where, to, where you can put this magnetometer. <clears throat> and um, that you give the needle uh, time to rest uh, so that the natural vibrations are slowing down to a minimum level and then you can start, I think, very sensitive and very good measurements. And there are also um, geomagnetic surveys uh, station out there that are providing their data and the internet and thus you can uh, compare the, da the data we are gathering with those devices with the ones from, uh, say, professional measuring stations. So I think it's a nice idea, and I will keep you updated on this. Thank you. Bye.